I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to use uh, Selenium um, for uh, automation of uh, testing on the browser. Basically, from the uh, Selenium IDE, I'm going to create a Java file, and then I'm going to create a JavaScript file because I want to run it from Node. So, first thing I'm going to do is uh, uh, open an existing uh, test suite that I already created. File, open. It's an HTML file. It has multiple uh, tests. Can have. I have only one. I call it sign up with missing fields. You can name it. And then it ru I'm running all the tests. Uh, on the right, you see everything is green. I'm verifying that I can see the try again text. And if I'm going to change a value, the test hopefully will fail. I'm going to execute the test again. And now uh, it failed. If I go to the log tab, I'll see exactly why because the value on the screen is try again and not try again with exclamation mark. I'm going to remove it and try it again. And now everything is going to be green. Great. Let's uh, try to add another step, add a phone number uh, to one of the fields here and see if it works. So I'm going to uh, create on the, click on the record button, punch in the phone. Now it's on the right side. Uh, to show up, I'm going to remove this extra weird entry and keep only the phone. And you know, can see the type the fields here. I can modify if I want to, and I can run a test again. And it's green, great. Now let's export it into a, a script. Uh, unfortunately, there's no JavaScript or Node. There's only Java and Ruby and C Sharp. So I'm going to use the Java, which is very very similar, almost one to one. I'm going to click on export, pick a file, call it uh, .java, and uh, it looks going to look like this. I'm going to copy those lines into my uh, Node.js file, which is this guy. It's almost the same. I also added the uh, taking screenshots, uh, and I'm using the, the it's using promises uh, um, to uh, evaluate whether. Uh, the text is uh, what I'm expected, which is the try again text, and uh, I'm just going to run it. Uh, it will return status code 0 or 1, depending on if it's successful or, or failure, and which is nice because I can integrate this stuff into my CI or whatever other tools. Um, that's about it. Uh, the, this is the official uh, driver. It's called uh, Web uh, Driver JS. I'm not using any uh, anything that um, abstraction on top of it like Nightmare JS because this one is pretty simple and it has uh, promises, which is pretty nice to to work with. And that's the documentation. All the API is available here on this website. Uh, for example, the click uh, API to click on an element, finding element. It's all here. So yeah, that was a crash course on using Selenium for user acceptance tests uh, with uh, Node.js. Thanks.